Big Picture High School is a school that focuses on interspace learning, uh, focuses on student-centered learning, and um, our motto uh, is one student at a time. It's really the motto, motto of essentially all Big Picture schools. Okay. So uh, Durango Big Picture teachers are actually called advisors, and the reason that they're called advisors is that uh, even though each one of them is a content specialist, uh, whether an English teacher, language teacher, science, math, and so on. Um, in the advisory model, the students uh, create their curriculum to uh, meet the standards. And so they'll come up with project ideas to meet standards. For instance, a student recently uh, completed a project on um, a mimic octopus to target a couple of biology standards. And so he'll meet with um, one of the science teachers uh, who's an advisor and sort of that teacher and he will develop the project together and so the, the teachers act as guides and, um, and really as advisors rather than direct instruction teachers. Although that is also a component of our program, uh, each of the teachers also teaches workshops uh, and so a, a student could choose to, for instance, take chemistry as a workshop or choose to do chemistry uh, through um, self-directed projects. Either way, the standards are the same. Um, in one way, the, the curriculum is teacher-directed, which is traditional. In the other way, the, the curriculum is student-directed with teacher guidance or advisor guidance. So this year, um, Durango Big Picture High School is actually a separate high school from uh, Durango High School. Our first four years, we were actually an SLC of the high school, and, uh, and our first year we were actually in the high school, and then the last four years we've been at our present location on East 12th, uh, and so we're a separate high school, and we have an alternative education campus designation, and so, so part of being an alternative education campus is that we um, can use our model and the, tr the specific traits of our model uh, as part of our evaluation process and our accreditation process with the state. So, for instance, our internship data, our gateway key data, um, the standards that, that students hit, because students go standard by standard rather than course by course. And, and so we track all of that data and that, that's part of what we submit to the state in addition to uh, TCAP, Next Year Park, and ACT, and, and all of those bits and pieces of data, dropout data, graduation rate. All of that is the same, but in addition, we get to submit things that are specific to our model so that we're evaluated on, on more than uh, one piece. And as part of us becoming a separate high school, one of the things that we've done, and it's actually a project, a senior thesis project of one of my students, is to um, help sort of re-image big picture and, and let people know who we really are, who really are the big picture students. And, and part of that process was for us to come up with our own mascot. And so. Um, so the, that was, you know, part of her project to go to the kids and see what they thought, and um, and we ended up choosing the badger, um, and so we're the big picture badgers because they're 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 tenacious, they're persistent. So the eleven gateway keys center around three areas, personal growth, social growth, and academic growth. And in every exhibition students do at the end of the semester where they both showcase their work and they also hold themselves accountable for the things that they did not accomplish, um, they focus on those three areas. How did I grow and change personally, socially, and academically? Uh, we have, so we have three keys that are personal keys. So that's knowing yourself, self-reflection, and pursuing your passions. Uh, the social keys are uh, leading responsibly, acting professionally, and communicating effectively. Then the academic keys are challenging yourself academically, taking control of your learning, being organized, finding and using resources. And the last one is working independently. Uh, being uh, a different school, we decided to do our video differently. Why not? Uh, it's part of part of who we are. What you're going to see, instead of seeing teachers at work, you're going to see the work of teachers through student presentations, um, expressing their knowledge of and um, progress towards the 11 Gateway Keys. Jazzy is going to be persuading us that she's ready for Senior Institute by meeting all of these 11 Gateway Keys. And so, what you're looking for is evidence of growth, and then if she has persuaded you that she is ready, 
at the end of the exhibition. We'll ask her any clarifying questions. Then we will leave the room as a group and discuss whether or not we think she's ready. Then come back and give her feedback and for Senior Institute. Um, so Senior Institute is basically you have more freedom and privilege than you do in Junior Institute. If she would have been here for all four years, she would have done this her sophomore year, but she came in as a junior. So um, it basically means if she needs to go to the library, she says, "We're going to go to the library." If you know, it's just freedom and responsibility. So at the end, we will leave the room and we'll go discuss whether or not we think she's ready, and then we'll come in and give feedback and tell her what our decision is. I'm Jasmine Adams and I am a student in Drea Robertson's advisory and this is my hybrid gateway. Um, the purpose of this presentation is to prove I am ready for Senior Institute by meeting all 11 gateway keys. Um, this is one of the personal gateway keys knowing myself. What I became through my experiences. I could say I've been through a lot in my young life, and I choose to make myself a better person from it instead of hindering myself. What drives me in life right now is my mom. She is a huge inspiration to me. Um, um, my mom was one of those people. She was friends to everybody. She was there for everybody. She was the peacemaker. She was just basically everything I strive to be in life. And who I am now, I am extremely confident in my skin. Um, I'm a lover. I just want to be me and I want to do me in my life. And um, nothing can stop me. I just want to make the world a better, pay, a better place. And I feel like me being myself is showing leading responsibly. I feel like the ambitions and dedication I have for school this year is leading responsibly. I've pushed myself so much over the past two months, and that's extremely different from me, because I'm one of those kids. I'm not into school. And it's hard for me to push myself, but I did it, and I recognize that, and that's showing leading responsibly. Um, asking for help has really improved my ability to work independently. Um, working independently is my weakest key. I would really say that my friends are less of a distraction as much as I am a distraction to myself. I find myself just kind of spacing out doing my own work or thinking about something totally different than what I'm supposed to be working on. Or I get consumed by Facebook or I get all involved into my music. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just a huge distraction to myself basically, which is a huge thing I have to work on. But um, I think I've started getting the hang of it. I've worked my butt off this past month and a half, so this shows me that I can do it. I just have to keep on pushing myself, and I have to keep my eye on the prize, which is graduation. Um, so each of the students presents not only in front of their, their class, but they present in, in front of a panel. The panel is made up of one or two advisors two to three students, and the students' uh, parents, and sometimes the students' mentor uh, from their internship, if their mentor can make um, the exhibition. In the Gateway One, the feedback is just around relative strengths and weaknesses, um, challenging the evidence the kids present to show those strengths and, and weaknesses. In Gateway Two, um, the panel actually leaves the room, discusses the student's growth, and makes a decision whether or not um, the student um, has actually met all the requirements of the gateway process and we utilize uh, the rubrics that we've created that are part of the big picture model in, in determining whether or not a student has made growth. And
went through this the way we would, even if, like, if we had more concerns. Um, so I'm just going to go around the table, starting with you, and if you don't mind discussing each of the gateway keys, where you think she is, if it's, if it's not ready, minimal readiness, or ready. Um, working independently, I, I, she's shown amazing growth, and um, I do think she's ready. I don't know if she's fully there, but, but I, I believe that she is going to get there. Okay. No, I don't worry about her not achieving any of those. Um, um, organized. She's definitely organized in school, which is really good. I've seen her room before, so I know how crazy she <laughs> is. Um, I'm the same way, though. Like, my room's a mess all the time. Um, everything was pretty much good. I have examples of every how she hit every single key. So you don't even have minimal readiness in anything. You just think she's a rock star. Right? I mean, other than, I mean, I've never seen her personal organization. But from you guys, obviously, it's not that great. But <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think it was really good, um, especially in like the personal qualities because she has been through a lot, and she really inspires me. Because if I went through what she went through last year, especially, I would not be where she is. So and social qualities too. Jazzy always she always calm and always tries to like help people, especially me when I'm freaking out about things. Even though we're not best friends, so I really appreciate that. Um, and I think the thing that she doesn't really, she didn't really talk about is her attitude in class. I mean, she is always the most positive person in there. So let's go back in, try not to smile or wink or nod. We're just going to give... That sounds like really angry. <clears throat> we're going to give her... <laughs> we're going to give her... And disappointed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, scared. Uh, we're we're going to go through and each of you get feedback and then I'll give her my feedback and tell her about the same. Okay. Cool. Uh, and as you know, as I rattled through those 11 keys, they're really essentially soft skills, but they're the soft skills that if you master those, you're going to be successful at work, you're going to be successful at college, you're going to be successful pretty much anywhere you are. If, if we were all great at these 11 gateway keys, we'd all be really successful in any endeavor that we, um, that we undertook.